For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and today I'm filming one of my absolute favorite videos, which happens to be product empties. What is easier than talking about a product that you've used all the way up and know your exact feelings about, which I think makes for the most informative and best content for you as well. Broken record alert, I am about to move in like less than a month, and so the goal right now is for me to get rid of a ton of stuff that I have so that you know, the less I have to move, the better. Now we're not moving super far away, but it would just be nice to kind of start fresh and, you know, only have products like one of each type of product. Do you know what I mean? It's just easier that way. So wedged into this video are also some products that are clearly not empty, but are very old and I either don't like for one reason or another. So we'll touch on those too. So first things first, the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I talk about all the time how I really don't like this and for whatever reason I continue to repurchase it. It's like I want to like it but I just can't. I have truly given this so many tries. Obviously this was a huge bottle. I used it all up. The thing with this is it's a fine cleanser. Like if you have no makeup on your face and maybe you're taking a shower in the morning after you just slept all night, you know, wash your face the night before, this is completely fine. It's a very, very gentle cleanser. I just don't think that it's super effective in removing makeup. I don't know, I just, I'm in love with my Paula's Choice cleansers and I'm gonna talk about one in just a minute. And I think because I started with the cream of the crop when I was really young, it's really hard to find other cleansers that measure up. And so I'm like, Maggie, why do you keep spending your money on cleansers that don't add up? Just buy the ones you know you love. So I know that so many people love this and so many people swear by this, but for me, it just doesn't work. Even when I double cleanse, I don't feel like it's doing an adequate enough job. That's just my two cents, unfortunately. I just need to remember, don't repurchase this. I can love it from a distance or want to love it from a distance, but I, it just doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for my skin. But one cleanser I do love and you could never separate is this is the Paula's Choice Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser and this is part of their Resist line. So it's supposed to be part of their anti-aging line. This is in her mega, mega size, which I typically try to buy. This past time I screwed up and got the smaller size. This lasts forever at 11.3 fluid ounces. I use this to fill up my little travel bottles of cleanser because I always like to travel with a favorite cleanser that I know I love. This is just so gentle. It does such an effective job at removing makeup. And I have now gotten really into a two-step cleansing system. And so I don't fully need this to remove all of my makeup, but there is absolutely zero residue once I put the oil cleanser on. Then I go in with this foaming cleanser and use my Clarisonic. It is just the dream combination. Even if you don't have that first cleansing step, I think that this does a fabulous job at removing makeup and making your face feel clean without feeling extremely dried out at the end. If you've tried this before and you didn't know that it came in this massive quantity, I definitely say go for this because it is a lot more cost effective over time. Again, this has already been repurchased. This is sitting on my sink right now. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Just for your knowledge too, I have kind of combination skin. It's really dry in the winter and it's pretty oily in the summer. So I guess it's just kind of normal. It just changes with the season and so this works for me. However, my mom who has super duper oily skin, she does not use this one. She actually uses a different one that's even more oil. It's like an oil reducing cleanser versus the perfectly balanced cleanser. So sticking with Paula's Choice, this is a newfound absolute favorite. I need to order another one of these stat. The cool thing about Paula's Choice too, just a little plug right now, is that they actually are a verified seller on Amazon. So you can get all of their products really quickly if you run out of them. You can get that two day prime shipping if you're a prime member. Right now, things are a little slow just due to everything going on in the world. Let me tell you what this is. This is the Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It says that this is a silky lotion that mattifies with a sheer natural tint for all skin tones and helps prevent UV damage and signs of aging. I think that that first description about, you know, it mattifies with a sheer natural tint for all skin tones, 100% spot on. This to me, while it's not a full on like color correcting product, or at least it doesn't claim to be, for me, it actually does a pretty good job of evening out my skin tone and I can honestly wear this alone. Now, I'm not gonna recommend that to you if you have maybe some sunspots that you're trying to cover up or acne that you're trying to conceal or if you just want like a flawless complexion, I don't think that you can just use this. But in these times where I've just been like working inside and not going anywhere, but I just wanna look presentable just in case I need to go like curbside pick up some food or something, I could just wear this with some concealer and be completely fine. 
I love wearing an SPF every single day, regardless if I'm staying inside, going outside. It's just good for your skin because you have sunlight coming in through the windows, right in the car. You should just be wearing an SPF every day, regardless. And this is so good. It's a little on the pricier side, though. This is $33. However, this lasted me from December to April. So I do think that it is well worth the money. It does mattify nicely. It's kind of a good base for all of your makeup that you put on top of it. The only thing is that you definitely have to moisturize with this. I would not rely on this to be like a tinted moisturizer SPF. Just think of this as the SPF step because it can leave your skin feeling a little bit dry if you don't have an added layer of moisture underneath. This is so sad because this oil is so expensive and it comes from Malin and Goats. This is the Recovery Treatment Oil. <sighs> wow. This came in a cause box, which by the way, is definitely edging out FabFitFun for my favorite subscription box. Yep, I said it, I said it. It is so good. They have the most high quality products that come in it. I feel like their products are just so useful. They support small businesses. I've just been really into it. And this oil was such a winner from, I think it was the winter box. Maybe it was the fall box. I can't remember. This just went on so nicely. I felt like it just really made my skin feel extra velvety soft. Really used it in the daytime and the nighttime. Gosh. This did so good. Let me read it to you. It says, our fast absorbing treatment synthesizes a blend of nine antioxidant rich oils that nourish and hydrate to help address the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Apply five to seven drops on clean skin. So I would do that at night, a little bit fewer in the daytime. And I truly think that I noticed kind of a decrease in like my expression lines on my forehead while using this. It is just such a silky smooth oil that like soaks into your skin. It doesn't leave you looking like an oil slick or anything like that, which made me comfortable using it in the daytime, especially in the winter when I just needed that extra drink before I put on moisturizer and before I, you know, went in with my extra steps. I loved using this, but this retails for something like $82. Everybody's like, you can get it cheaper elsewhere. And some people were reselling it after they got their cause box. And I don't know if I feel super comfortable buying it off somebody random like that, but I will definitely keep my eyes peeled for a sale on this. I cannot recommend this enough. I've been going through little travel size products too, trying to use those up because you don't want those to go bad. And these come from a brand called the Aromatherapy Associates. This was rosemary and Lang Lang scent, and these smelled amazing. And so I had to go ahead and mention these. I thought that these did a great job at shampooing and conditioning in kind of a clarifying way. Like I felt like my hair was extra clean after I used this shampoo, and the conditioner was extra moisturizing. I'm using just like suave shampoo and conditioner right now, and while I love the shampoo, the conditioner hardly does anything for my hair. And so I realized that I need conditioner that's just like, a little bit thicker, a little bit more moisturizing. Anyway, I do highly recommend this, but I got these at some hotel and well worth the keep, I'll tell you that. An ultimate favorite that I think I've talked about a million times because I run through these really quickly. I typically have them in the travel sizes because I love to travel with this stuff. This is the Living Proof Style Lab Flex Hairspray. This, they say, is a medium hold hairspray. And I refute that every single time I talk about it. This is definitely a light hold hairspray, however, it's a very effective light hold, okay? This also has heat protection in it, which I think is amazing. If you're somebody that likes to spray hairspray on a strand of your hair and style it that way so that it holds the style a little bit better, this is your best friend because you're not completely frying or damaging your hair because it has that heat protectant in it. Now, I do not typically use hairsprays in that way. I typically just apply it like after I curl my hair or kind of in the in-between process, but there are a ton of people where that's their method and I think that they should definitely lean on products like this. It has a wonderful nozzle that disperses the product so evenly. It's the super fine mist that sits on your hair really nicely. And again, it holds your style. It smells like super good salon quality. I just love Living Proof hair products with the exception of their shampoos and conditioners. Those are a little bit too moisturizing for me, but their heat protectants, their sprays, their styling creams, their hairsprays, they're so good. They're seriously so, so good. This Human and Kind Lotion, this came from a FabFitFun box and I was so pleasantly surprised. This is the Body Souffle and it comes in like a mango scent. Although I don't see where it says that, I just remember that from the unboxing. The scent is so light and so refreshing and 
this is so fun. Every time I put this on, Nash likes to lick it off my legs, which is so great. That's my dog, by the way. <laughs> and I'm okay with that because this is actually made with a lot of natural ingredients, so he's probably going to be okay if he's ingesting a little bit of it. But this is a lightly whipped lotion that goes on your skin so smoothly, sinks into your skin really evenly. You know how sometimes lotions can be really hard to rub in in some areas and you feel like you're just working too hard and then you're basically just rubbing all the lotion off onto your hands or something? You don't have any of that headache or anything with this lotion. It goes on so nicely. I did find out that you can get this on Amazon. Right now I'm on a severe backlog of lotions, but when I finally run out of those, I am going back to this because I loved it that much. And I don't get that fired up about lotions and stuff that you get in subscription boxes because I feel like they're just a dime a dozen. This one so stood out and I think it has a lot to do with the scent and just how easily it sinks into my skin and it doesn't leave you feeling greasy. And those are all like factors that create the perfect lotion in my eyes, so I cannot recommend this enough. Okay, this is the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. This is AKA just a daytime moisturizer and that's what I used it for. This says that this is to energize and rescue your skin with aloe, coconut water, and probiotics. Smooth onto clean, moisturized skin, allow to dry, and then follow up with your favorite foundation. And so this we got in a cause box as well. And again, use this product all up so you can see. Again, those products are useful. You definitely don't need a moisturizer and then this because I really don't know what this did to prime necessarily. Maybe if you're super into hydrating primers and that's what you use. I typically use no primer, so I guess I don't really have a lot to compare this to. I like this better than any sort of pore filling primer that may be out there, but just so you know, this is totally a moisturizer and it was great. It was super light. It's exactly what I want in the daytime to layer makeup over. It sinks into the skin nicely. However, I did kind of put it on and then go make myself a cup of coffee in the morning and then put my other products on because I did want this to fully sink in before I went and applied a bunch of other products on top. But it's a pretty small bottle. It's one fluid ounce and Pure is traditionally kind of a more high-end brand or at least their costs are a little higher in my opinion. So I can't see myself going and repurchasing this, but that's not because it's bad. It's just because it's a moisturizer and I like other moisturizers that are cheaper and just as effective. Okay, this is my last empty product and then we'll get into those products that I just plain need to get rid of. And this is the e.l.f. Super Tone. This is a toner with brightening fruit acids. And this I bought in a little kit because I made a DIY beauty advent calendar back around Christmas time. And this was one of the products that I put in there. And this was a very astringent toner. I definitely felt a little bit of a burn when I used this and I had to be really careful with the other products that I was using after I used this toner. Like I kind of got a burning bad reaction when I layered it with one of my like exfoliants right after and it's an exfoliant that I've been using for years and years and years and I've never had that issue with so this was just a little bit too harsh in my opinion. So I do not think that I would go back to this and I like astringent toners so if that tells you anything I thought that this was just a little harsh. Okay, a product that I don't like and cannot continue using is the Milk Kush Mascara. This has rave reviews by so many people and I can't figure out why. I don't know if maybe I have like strangely shaped eyelids to where mascara transfers easily because that is something that I notice when I am not using mascara that's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise pretty much. This transfer was just so bad. This is one that I would definitely have to apply like an under eye setting powder to make sure that the mascara didn't get under my eyes and put some type of powder on my brow bone to make sure that my eyelashes didn't bump up and leave like black marks. This at the end of the day, I had like raccoon eyes because I haven't set my under eyes in years since I started using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I used to have to do it all the time when I was using transfery type products like this, but it goes on nicely. I really liked the brush itself. It's really fluffy and really fat. I mean, I will feel bad just completely getting rid of this, so I'll likely try to use this and use it all up and just adapt, but to me, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is so much cheaper, so much more effective, and it requires a whole lot fewer products to use along with it to make it effective, if that makes sense. I don't have to set my under eyes. I don't have to worry about powder on the top right here. That one is just perfect right out of the bottle, and this one, just not my favorite, which was a big letdown because this I chose as part of the birthday gift from Sephora this year, but I did love the cream blush that came with it, so at least there was that going for it. This is ancient. 
This I got like when I moved to Dallas and I've been here for almost five years. I've been saving this because this is my favorite scent of all time for Mrs. Myers, the peony scent. In fact, I felt so passionate about this once that I wrote to them and asked <laughs> if they could keep this year round because I loved it that much. But this only comes around in the springtime. So I wanted to throw this in this video because of that. The scent is amazing. I love their multi-surface cleaner in this scent and the hand soaps, but the hand lotion, get out of here. This is not good lotion. It to me is so watery and I would put it on my skin and it would like do nothing for it. It was not a moisturizing lotion, but the scent was so good. So if they could turn this into a perfume, I would totally buy it. But unfortunately the lotion to me just did not moisturize. It did not sink into the skin quickly. It felt like it just had a really big water content and I don't know how else to describe it. So also because this is five years old and I haven't touched it because I've been avoiding it like the plague is probably a sign I should get rid of it for just multiple reasons, but it's such a shame because this scent is amazing. Quite the opposite problem with this one. First of all, this is kind of yellowing and the bottle has not always been like that, which leads me to believe that the liquid itself inside is kind of yellowing because again, got this when I moved to Dallas. <laughs> this is the Mrs. Myers room freshener in the geranium scent. I do not like this scent. I don't know what I was thinking at the store when I bought this. I think it smells better in the bottle than it smells like in the bathroom. Yeah, I just will not repurchase geranium again, that's for sure. And because this is so old and I don't love the scent, it's probably best for me to get rid of it anyway. Some other scents that I do love and I likely will re repurchase like a room freshener spray from them again. I love the bluebell scent. I love the honeysuckle scent. I love the peony scent, obviously, as we just talked about. There are so many good ones from that line and geranium is just not one of them. So I need to get rid of this. The color is very, very concerning to me. And that is everything for this April product empties. And I'm really excited to share more with you soon about the new house because we're first time home buyers and it has just been quite the experience. I've been asked to do a couple of videos about my home buying experience and I need to tread lightly with that, but I do intend to do one. We're supposed to move by end of the month if all goes well. And so hopefully we'll have a lot of fun new home content on the horizon. And I'm really excited that I've actually stuck to my goal of not purchasing you know new cosmetics and just using up what i have it feels really good to be getting rid of stuff using it all up my money's not going to waste it's just a win-win so if you want more product empties i'll be sure to link that playlist in the description box below and stick around subscribe join the community and i'll see you in my next one bye